Welcome back to the Fossil Academy. So, this is uh, a tool comparison video. I have a lot of people, uh, you know, there's a lot of interest now uh, getting into fossil preparation. So what I've got, uh, I've got the Zoic uh, Paleotech uh, Dremel engraver with the uh, tungsten carbide bits uh, to go in the end of it. That's the stock one there. It's quite chunky. He's a fossil prep. And I've got my CP... My CP9361, um, or 9631, one of them. Um, I've got my, it's a stock CP, Ooh. it's a stock CP pen, Chicago Pneumatics, uh, with a, uh, a sharpened point. And I've knocked the, uh, on a, on a Chicago new, on a secure, uh, I can't say it, on a, on a, on a, on a Chicago Pneumatics pen, when you get them, They've got like, uh, see this bit here, like a, a, a collar almost with a, it's got a ball bearing in it that keeps the, you see that one, it's quite got a lot, quite a lot of movement. That one's quite stock still. Mine's a bit of a wobbly pen, but uh, for er ergonomic purposes, I find it difficult, not difficult, but I just find it uncomfortable to hold that for so long. So what I've done is I've just smashed that off with a hammer. Probably not what you should do, but that's our uh, that's our role. Um, so yeah. So what we're going to do is uh, a time test. Same piece of rock. Uh, going to mark off uh, like a channel, um, and then I'm going to see ten minutes on the Dremel. What you can get, how much rock it can remove, and ten minutes using um, the CP. Just so you've got a bit of a comparison, you know, like how good is it compared to a CP. Because, um, you know, I've been prepping fossils uh, for a, a long time now. So, you know, I'm going to be I'm going to be quicker cleaning stuff with a Dremel as you know, than probably the person who just bought it straight out of the box. But, you know, this is purely how much rock can this one remove and how much rock can this remove in the same amount of time on the same piece of rock. I think that's quite a good little video. I thought about it last night. And uh, I've not been in the workshop. <clears throat> uh, I kind of lost my mojo. Uh, just got a lot of stuff going on family-wise. Um, but um, since I've got this new moustache, um, yeah, it seems to have I've seems to have got a bit of my mojo back. <laughs> but yeah, so let's do it. Uh, let's crack on uh, and see which one is. Yeah, I know which one's going to be the best, but I just want to see how much rock that actually does remove compared to a, a full-on air pen running at 110 psi. So yeah, let's crack on with it. Uh, cue sort of time lapse, and then we'll have a look at the results. Actually, saying that, I think I'll do five minutes because the bit of rock I'm going to use is quite small. I think 10 minutes. With an air pen, I could probably get rid of the majority of that. So on this one, I'll do this half will be Zoic, and this half here will be the uh... oh, it's getting faster. So I was just saying, so this bit, yep, that heart, that section there will, oh, around. that section there will do, oh no, do it that way, a bit more of a, that section, we'll do that, that one, we'll do the air pens. There we are. Squeak, ah, oh, squeak free. God, I love the WD-40. Squeak free. Oh, I kind of miss it now. Ah. I have to just do the sound effects myself. Anyway, uh, I've got to get this stuff on, get this desk cleaned up a bit. Actually, no, I'm not going to clean the desk. It's just going to get messy again. So, yeah, I'm going to crack on and uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> Thank you. 
<coughs> so that's not too bad. So I, I can't be bothered to get up and turn that off. It's not too bad, you know. It's removed. That's five minutes work with a Chicago pneumatic. Yeah. Removed quite a bit of matrix in, moved quite a bit in five minutes. Uh, you know, that's not too bad. Yeah. So now we're going to try the electric engraver. I'm just going to whack the bits in, the fossil tips that come with it, and we'll turn it up to five. Turn it up to five. Uh, and then we'll uh, we'll crack on with it. Just give it a go. Sweet. Forgot to say, and then we'll compare. So, well, still going. So, 10 minutes, that. Let's have a look. Do you know what? Right, so that one. That's the Zoic pen. That's the CP pen. Now, I'm quite impressed. So obviously, obviously the Chicago pneumatic air scribe has removed a lot more rock. But that I'm I'm quite impressed with it to be fair. It's I'll tell you one thing about it. Right, it's so precise. It's really see it's, see this it's like it's like brute force like ba 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 like ba 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 like going through it and then this bit this is just like it just it's so sharp it's so fine it's such a it's such a finer point than that and it just literally yeah just it, it goes through the rock's so nice. I mean, you can see like the quality, like the lines there. But it's still removed in five minutes. It's removed quite a lot of rock. Now, I don't think it is. It's not a bulk remover. Do you know what I mean? It's not a bulk, um, it's not a bulk, uh, four bulk matrix removal. Yeah. Um, but I can see like this. I might get this out um when i'm doing like middles uh you know stuff in the you know detail work i can imagine that being quite actually quite good but there there is a few problems with it They're not problems uh cons shall we say when you're using an air pen it's got air pushing out the front of it constantly so as you as you pen in it cleans the area for you which means you need an extractor, so I've got, you know, I've got a decent big extractor. Oh god no, suck that up. Um so so yeah, um obviously it's not very it's not a very strong extractor. It's good for dust, not for bags with bits in. But uh but yeah, it'll it'll you know, you know, you need an extractor. Uh this one, because there's no air going through it, I find that I was like blowing on it to sort of clear it off. Um, you know, which might get a tiny bit. Now, what you'd need, I'd say, uh, if I was using that, if if all I had was that, I'd say get like a, a paint painter's brush, an old paint paintbrush, just so you, as you pen in, you can you can you can clear clear it a bit. So you're not going to get as much 
dust in the air because it's not blowing everywhere. Uh, it's going to be sort of concentrated around where you're working, but uh, you still need an extract, uh, some kind of extraction, even like a Henry Hoover or something like that. I should imagine uh, would be quite good. Uh, that is still, you know, it's not, it's not hot, it's not warm. I'd say use it probably in like 10, 15 minutes, uh, probably 10 minutes, and then give it a bit of a break and then carry on. Because uh, otherwise, I think you'd probably run the motor out on it. Now, the Dremel, as you're penning, I noticed. So, as you're penning, uh, as you're going along, as you, there you go. So, as you're penning and you're going along, it, it, you get some kickback here. Yeah? Now, if you take the angle, I took the angle lower and took it slower, and now uh, I got hardly any kickback at all. You can sort of see, look, with the, these nice lines that uh, that I got all the way through. Yeah, so yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. You know, if you know for uh, however much it is, uh, look, go to the go to the, the website, uh, Zoic Paleotech, uh, and check them out. Um, if you want to get into fossil prep, it's a it's a it's a really good tool. Those tips are pretty precise. And in the bag, you get uh, a long, extra long tip. Is that a bit thicker as well, I think? Or is it just a bit longer? You get a longer tip and uh, a fine detail tip as well. Probably should have gone with the longer one. It looks like maybe, is it thicker? Maybe it was just longer. I don't know. Anyway, by the by, it's still, it's still really good. It's still really... Um, yeah, I really enjoyed that. So, in conclusion, are these worth it? Are they good? Uh, slower, more precise though. I mean, yeah, you know, sort of, sort of see, and fingers sort of sat on the top. There, it's kind of like you know, we've <coughs> we've moved. We've... I'm not very good at this comparison stuff, am I? In comparison, in conclusion, <laughs> that's it. Get word wrong. So, in conclusion, in conclusion, it's a good bit of kit uh, from Paleotech. I would, uh, if you're up for getting into fossils and starting out, <clears throat> it's it's good. Just don't go crazy with it and take it slow. And it does remove quite a decent amount of rock. Not as much as. Um, the big boy, the the Chicago pneumatics, but yeah, I'm I'm quite impressed. So yeah, that's me. Uh, my ten minute test, five minutes on each. To be fair though, I mean, look, it's it's you can see how much more how, how precise it is. It's it's just a lot neater as well. But yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> It would take you, it would take you, depends how big your, your rock is, but I think when you're starting out, I think a good, that's another point. I think when you're starting out, fossil prepping, slow and steady wins the day, and this is slow and steady. So it's a good starting, it's a good starting point. And I know uh, Zoic do some really, I've got friends who use their pens. I've still yet to use them. Uh, their air pens, that is, their professional air pens. But you know, it's it's a good starting starting point, and then you can progress if you you know if you already got into it and you get good at it with this, then the next step up is the you know getting yourself a compressor and an air pen and dryers and abrasives and all sorts. Do you know what I mean? And then you start, then you can uh, really progress. But um, but yeah, it's good. I, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I didn't think it'd do that well, but I, I like using it weirdly. So I think when I've got some delicate little middles, my arrow pens not the best. That probably. I think it's just how sharp the point is. It's just such a. Wah! It's a technical term. Anyway, that's it for this video. It's just a quick. Uh, quick comparison because so I always get people asking me you know are they any good um, you know what can I do with them how much rock do they remove and there you go so how much rock it removes in five minutes compared to a, a, 
a decent full whack Chicago pneumatic. In all fairness, though, put my point on there is it's, it's, it's pretty blunt. I think I need to get that sharpened. I probably should have sharpened it before I did this test. I think it would have removed a bit more. But uh, all in all, yeah, fair dues. Well done. Well done, electric engraver. Chocks away. Right, see you later.